welcome True Seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. I am back with another work and money for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising on the cusp. If you fit this description, please stick around. The forecast may pertain to you. However, if it doesn't fit, please acquit. With this being said, remember to give all of a thumbs and to check the description box on ways to reach out to me as well as how to make a purchase. I'm now ready for you to sit back and prepare for your messages from Source through me for Working Money Week, August 23 until August 29. I hope you enjoy it and please stay online. Okay, Eagle Feathers, we are back. Um, glad to be in the service one more time. I heard that when I got ready to sit down and um, start your forecast. So, yeah, okay, I'm back on. So, um, on top of that, glad to be in the service one more time. I actually had you all's forecast prepared and everything, and somehow, I don't know what this thing is with my device, how it fuses my vids together. I don't know what I'm doing to cause that, but it, it's causing me a lot of more extra time. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into your um, scripture weekly reflective. It's coming from Justice, okay? So Justice is all about a determination, I don't know if it's you, someone else, the court system, your job, you know, I don't know, but it's being weighed. Now, the last reading didn't say that, but now it's saying maybe source changed their mind. It's, it's being weighed. Maybe they're changing. Uh, maybe the energy changed since then, okay? So now this is being weighed. Something's being weighed. Like I said, it could be... Whatever it is, um, it deals with legality. Now, this could be a business contract. This could be your job. This could be legal issues with an attorney, uh, per se. It could be anything. You know, your governments, like your IRS, anything, okay? Things are being weighed. And that um, reflective is coming from Philippians 4, 6, and 7. So, it flips Philippians 4, 6, and 7 as New Testament, you know when you tune into the Terror Temple to have your paper and pencil, your Bible, and your highlighter somewhere by your side, at your end table, on the edge of your bed, wherever it is. If you like me, I have iPads and books and stuff right there on the side of the bed sometimes. You know, we sleep together, these books and us, you know. So if you haven't found it, I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. All right. So, be careful for nothing. Because, you know, when you're making your request known to God, um, I don't know if you need to be more clear. And when I say God, I'm not just talking about the God of heaven because you have gods on earth. Even Jesus said, don't you know that ye are gods? So whoever you're going to, to get something done in the moment is in the God energy. They're answering your prayer. They're answering your request. Okay. They are offering you hope. And you have to remember that's how we come to know God oftentimes is through each other. Okay, so I don't know what's being weighed or being determined right now, but you should. And maybe you can get to the bottom of it regarding your um, forecast this week. So this is being weighed. This is going to be determined. Again, I don't know who, you, someone else, you know. We don't know. Let's find out what's going on. What's going on with Philippians 4, 6, and 7? Overall, we have the death energy. All right. And that is based on seven of wands. Okay. What can you expect? The two of wands. 
stemming from the Queen of Cups. Your outcome is the Three of Wands. Conflict and challenge and supportive energies we'll discuss. Underlining energy this week is temperance. So, um, I see you filling someone in, giving your request, making your request known, um, having that telephone conversation, that uh, that meeting. It's a meetup. Or it's a meeting over a conference call over the phone. I don't know. Um, this may even be over the internet. Um, I'm also hearing comments. This could be through comment sections and so forth. And I have people put their little notes in on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. But this is to be decided overall. You have um, something that's restricted or flagged. Um, it's a stipulation present here overall. Okay, overall. Now, I don't know. Uh, I'm hearing Niagara Falls. So I don't know what I don't know if something's going on in that area in Niagara Falls. Um, I don't know if this is a you know Niagara Falls used to be the name the place where people would go to vacation. Maybe Niagara Falls is the place where you. I don't know. Maybe this is based on work. Maybe this is a relocation. I don't know because I do see the two of ones here. Where the river falls, I don't know, where the, like a bank, I don't know why this is important. Where, wherever this thing, or this place is, it has a river bank, it has river banks. And I mean, the water looks clean. This water looks clean. This water looks like the water in Bermuda. Literally, like clean water. This is based on the seven of wands, okay? Seven of wands. Um, this is someone who tackles their work with a lot of tenacity. Um, this is a person who has a lot of things that come up at them. They may wear two and three hats at once. Um, a lot of people oftentimes are um, trying to get their attention. Or, eat, or maybe even in the, the person's way. This is my brave heart, okay? Um, this is also the farmer I'm hearing. And um, this is a shapeshifter, a change bringer, okay? This is somebody who can show you how it's done, okay? So you know who you are, you know if it applies to you already. Those are things that are coming out, okay? Now, again, let's get back to this. Um, since I, I feel like when I laid down these cards, there was something going on behind the scenes. I don't know if you're being watched or watched after. I don't know why I'm saying that, like watched after, like somebody's watching after you. You don't may not even know this behind the scenes. But I'm, some of you, there is definitely some type of global change, some type of um, migration here. There are plans and schedules for this. Whatever is going on here with this, this traveling, this... Um, I also see the movies in this this week. I see popcorn. I see the movies going to the movies this week. I don't know if it's going to rain. What's going to do with this water? I don't know. I don't know if this is even could be flooding. 
But whatever it is, you definitely got things that you don't want to do that you got to do first before you get there. And that, I'm sure that's packing <laughs> for some of you. For some of you, it's about um, someone in a high position that you have to speak with, that you have to meet. This may be uneasy. I don't know. This could be the judge. As we do have justice card here. This could be the boss man. Um, I don't know, Scorpio. This, but this is definitely some. For whoever he is or she is, um, I feel like they're being halted or stalled as well. Maybe they held back by this meeting. I don't know. But it seems like when you show up, they're like being stalled or halted or something. I don't know. It's all stemming from this Queen of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups to me is a great um a person with a high success. They they have great insight. Um this could be a psychic of some type. This could be a health professional. I don't know if some of you have to go for health. That is, you're showing me source, and I don't have a lot of time to. I can't really tell what this is, but I'm also hearing logo, so this may have something to do with some help with the with your company. This may be a personal assistant. Okay, this could be personal assistance here. Um, um, personal assistance based on all of the stuff that has to be, this could be you. You got a lot of stuff that needs to be tackled, you know, and you can't do it by yourself. Maybe you are a business owner, you know what I'm saying? Or you just a, a high official who works for a company who needs some help. I don't know. But something about this is dealing with legality. Company legality, contracts, anything that you can still take to court, you know, but it doesn't necessarily mean a courtroom. And this is being waived. Let's find out the reason. Scorpio. Eagle feathers. How are you, eagle feathers? And I would like to thank all of my new subscribers and viewers as well. And, um... You know, I like to always remind y'all to give thumbs, okay? Because I don't want to continue to keep reminding people to do stuff, you know? It kind of gets old and kind of elementary. You, you, I feel like when you come in, you should already know to give. You should just give thumbs when you come in because you came in, you know? Just, just to let a person know, hey, somebody was here, <laughs> you know? It was watched. What's the reason? Ooh. I'm hearing dreadlocks. Okay, so this again may be about hair, religion, beliefs, and definitely some judgment call. This is like um, shaman stuff. So, I, didn't I say somebody may have went to a psychic? I'm feeling like... Um, Something shamanistic is here about this judgment. I don't know if someone went to a shaman. So you're doing this because, yeah, you went to something. It's, it's, now, the, the, a shaman to me, because hmm, a shaman is really also 
to me like an intercessor. You can sometimes compare a shaman to a magician. And a shaman can go, it, it know it's like an alchemist. And it, and it knows how to move upon the elements of the earth to make things happen, you know. You know, if, if the land was dry and we really needed that rain, people back in those times, in ancient times, would go to shamans to try to make that happen. Okay? So that's what I keep getting out here. Dreadlocks. I don't know. I've never said that before. But you can see. Dreadlock blowing his horn. Dreadlock made a call. Or is making a call. A judgment call. And this is a blessed card. Because this. This judgment can bring about what you need. Uh, this judgment brings about a type of harmony and a kind of praise to the heavens. Shamanistic. And this seems like personal assistance or, or gaining to gain more insight. Or this could be a shaman, just a shaman. This could represent a shaman. For some of you okay but it definitely has to do with some type of judgment a good judgment call maybe you got a call from a shaman i don't know but expect some travel plans expect i mean oh, this could be you you could be the shaman um but there's definitely some traveling plans here i don't know if this is for education, because I'm, I'm also here in learning. And I'm also here in barren. So I don't know if the land is barren. Or barren, like bearing fruit, like things are growing. Or things are void, like not at all, not, not growing like it's dry. Okay? Your outcome is the three of wands, and I see you making plans and you're waiting um, here. Alright? So, um, really, you're trying to come up with something. You're trying to come up with something. What it is, I don't know, but it's based on this. Okay, for some, it's revolution. Like I said, a shape, sh a shape shifter. Okay, a 180, trying to make a complete change. And that's to be decided. It's to be you deciding it. But whatever it is, because like I said, if it's okay, so with justice, this could be like passports, legal documents, and so forth. Because you can't travel. Um, some of you, you like, because I, I named some cities and some countries. And world travel. That's what's going on here. What's your conflict? The love is hard. Okay, so somebody may not want you to go. Okay, maybe you're leaving a lover, a friend, siblings, family, your neighborhood. You know. Um, now, for some of you... Um, I see the pyramids of Ethiopia. Because people need to understand that pyramids, there are pyramids in Ethiopia that are older than in uh, Egypt. But don't nobody talk about that. There's some confusion around it. Maybe it has something to do with this traveling and going somewhere else. As opposed to staying home. Maybe this is about African Africana studies. Okay. This is also the big. It's funny I said Ethiopia. Because. Um, 
we're dealing with this is sometimes looked at as the Adam and Eve card, the beginning. So this could be about culture. Okay? Family. Who to be with. But this is about creation. This is about starting a family. The beginning of life. This is a confusion. Maybe may even do something with the culture and the ethnic group. Okay? But there's definitely travel education here. Personal assistance is here. I don't know if you need a personal assistant to travel with you when you go places. Because I don't know what you do. But you're definitely waiting on something to someone to arrive or some feedback or something here. You're waiting for somebody to show up or for them to respond. And what's going to help you is this four of cups. That if this is a person, if this is a person that's distant from you, and one thing I know about the four of cups person, they steer away from trouble and they like time to themselves to think things through, you know, um, space, space to iron out their own problems, space for themselves, space for them to um, concentrate on what's in, you know, what's on their heart, you know, whether it's problems, whether it's, you know, um, personal desires, whatever it is. But space, space is what will help. Because this is confusion. Distancing yourself. Distancing yourself to iron out these problems. That's what's going to help you. Because maybe you need to know what to ask for. Maybe you don't know how to ask, but whatever you ask for, you know, you need to believe that, you know, God is going to give you what you need. Doesn't necessarily mean that your entire request will be made, but out of that request, things will be determined that can be granted to you that you need. But you got to go separate yourself in order to to make that decision to. To iron this out. This is time alone. To iron it out. Okay. So I put the mail over here. I need to iron it out. See, I need some pictures. The masculine needs some space from the feminine. <laughs> or the feminine needs some space from the masculine. You know. To go figure it out. Need to go think about it. Just, just go figure out some problems on your own. Then you can make that decision. All right. Um, now that I am about to give the uh, oracle message, you can go ahead and give thumbs now if you haven't already, and check the description box. Please. Thank you. All right. So, dear source, what is the spiritual path oracle message for my eagle feathers this week with work and money? Hmm. 23 through the 29. Let's see what you're underlining. Oh, Chiron. Here we is. Chiron, the wounded healer. The wounded healer. Ooh. And the sun will come out tomorrow is in reverse. So I know that everything is clear. Okay. The sun is out. Okay. This is good. I don't know if you need to actually get out. Did I say something about some rain or some flood or something being barren? I don't know. But the sun is out. Maybe it's causing this drought. Mm -hmm. The sun will come out tomorrow, but it's in reverse. It, it's out. It's dry. The things dry, it's clear, it's sunny. You can do that. You can, you can, you can get out. All right. Um, let me keep it there. Let's see what your reflective is. Okay. Scorpio reflective. 
my eagle feathers. The sun will come out tomorrow and reverse their source. What is the reflective? The sun. Uh, look who showed up. Didn't I say that? The magician? The shaman. The magician. Okay, for some of you, the, the, there'll be a show. He'll be putting on a show. Whenever you get this, it's going to be good for you to put your show on. Everything's clear. I don't know if in other countries, if this is an intercession, like there's going to be a showing of the shaman. He's going to intercede. Like there may be a drought somewhere. Ethiopia, I've named that. Hot climate countries and other cultures. But whatever it is, you'll be free to perform your good works. And on that note, I will leave it here, Eagle Feathers. Thank you so much for tuning into the Tarot Temple. Once again, remember to walk by faith and by sight. Until then, peace and love.